Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the new banner featuring Yuffie and Lucia, the summer banner, much awaited, and also uh, just kind of briefly go through the event and uh, talk about kind of what's going on there. So, uh, if we look at our notices, we can see here Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis Beach Campaign. And what is this? It is more free pulls, 210 uh, 10 draws to be exact, and I'm extremely excited about that because we just got 280 from Monster Hunter. So we, in the last like month, we've gotten 490 free 10 draws. Couldn't give me a more generous game. You really couldn't. And also, I'm already back up to 28,000 crystals. I don't remember exactly what I stopped at, but I think it was around 4,000? Something around there from my last video. Uh, maybe seven, but it's it's been not that long, like a couple weeks, and I'm already back up to 28,000. Just a super generous game, and I always want to give a shout out for that. Okay, looking into the event here, um, I'm pretty stoked. I like the theme. I really like uh, this, just what they've done here with the sign. Summer's here, fireworks on the beach. It puts me into that, I don't know if you're in America, the 4th of July mindset, but anywhere else, I mean, who doesn't like fireworks? Looking at the exchange shop, we can see here Burning Ore, Cloud's Weapon. It's going to be Fire, and I think that's perfectly great. Uh, boost Physical Attack, Boost Fire Potency. It's going to make a fine sub-weapon, and so very happy with that. As we go down, we see that everything else is quite standard, except uh, you know these kind of rotate, and we're looking at Cloud-specific weapon parts, 100. I think that is quite nice, and I'm here for it. And this is just part one. This event goes to July 21st, so I think it's pretty safe to say that since we've got, you know, three and a half weeks of this going on, that there will be a part two, maybe, maybe even a part three at some point. Okay, before we get out of here, I just want to also note that they've kind of snuck in the critical threat. Yes, we do have the crash battle now available. And this is a time where I really want to remind everybody that if you're not a part of my Discord, go join we've got people working on this uh right now actually they've been kind of theory crafting for at least the last week uh on you know what kind of builds and stuff to come out with for this guy uh we can probably help you get ran if you need a run i think we're also working with other discords too uh so yeah definitely join the discord if you need some help if you need you know more resources with uh information and people that are playing and while i'm on that we are also running uh, the co-op stuff. And so if you notice that it's this time again, they've released Bahamut and Shiva on the co-op battles. So if you need to farm those summons, people are doing that, I would say, almost every single day. There's somebody looking for a group on the Discord. So join it. The link is on my channel. Okay. Without any further delay, we will get into the banner. And like I said... This is one of the more anticipated banners that we've had because we got that roadmap a few weeks back and the roadmap showed us that this would happen, right? That we would get this banner. It showed kind of the art or we had some art on a data mine leak. Um, so we kind of knew what we were expecting. We didn't know exactly what was going to be on this particular one, uh, but we have seen what these look like. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing is uh, looking at Yuffie's. I don't know what to think about this. Uh, mostly because, you know, I don't know what age they want to depict her as in this game versus what she was in Final Fantasy VII. Um, but it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a little, it's a little weird, you know? And maybe even the fact that she's got like a child floaty, I, I don't know, it's a little awkward. That's about all I'm going to say on that. So what is it called, Summer Moogle? What does it do? Very, very good here. We've got Flame Blade Arcanum. Now, obviously, we have several characters, I think, that are, you know, getting good at fire. But Yuffie is one of those good ones as well because she already has the boomerang with a fire breach. So Arcanums are always good. And if you like Yuffie, I think that she's going to be cut out to do fire damage anyway. Now, a new R ability that they've added is this Sun's Favor. Flat HP plus 5% and physical defense plus 15%. I think this is huge. We all know that survivability is a big deal. We also know, as we're building for more of these higher difficulty challenges, that it gets harder and harder to want to build 
your defense and your your HP. It's important, but you're really trying to get on, you know, these R abilities that are helping do damage, right? Or even buff debuff extension and things of that nature. And so anytime we can get this stuff and it like a solid amount of it in a costume, that frees up a sub weapon slot. And that is a really good thing. So I'm all for it. And I think physical defense plus 15% is really big. I think that's awesome. I think it's really nice. I mean, everybody's got at least 100 defense. So this is at least a flat 15, which I don't even know. I think my highest materia has only got 14 defense on it. So I think this is a huge deal. The fact that they've stuck this on with an Arcanum makes this, if you're a Yuffie fan, it's a no brainer. It's not for me. I already have Cloud as my main fire guy. I've got Sephiroth, Sephiroth in the background for fire. I've got the fire team kind of, you know, squared away, especially because as we see here, this is going to be physical fire damage and I've, I've got that in spades. But if you don't have that or if you have it, but you also really like Yuffie, then I think this is kind of a no brainer. So what do we have here at OB10? We're looking at 700% physical fire damage to all enemies. That's quite strong. Now, this is really hard to compare because they've kind of done multiple things with this one weapon, right? So if we look, for example, at Bunny Gloves, because it's a similar weapon, but they've actually broken Tifa's up into two separate weapons, which makes it a little bit hard to, to compare. Um, you've got 850% to a single enemy and, you know, the magic attack increase, right? But to get the element increase, you have to come over here to feathered gloves. And so you need two different weapons. And this is what gets the water damage increase. And again, this one, though, because it's got two things going on, et cetera, et cetera, it's only 420%. Uh, so and it doesn't do the element you need. So this weapon only works with another weapon. What they've done with Yuffie's weapon here is they've kind of acknowledged that, um, you know, we're not going to stick her on two different banners in a row, whatever. We're just going to kind of fix it all right here. And for that reason, I think this is quite good. These R abilities are pretty good. Like they're like the same as something like Sky Splitter. And so you'll notice the fire potency here. That's respectable. It's not the highest we see in an R ability for an element but it's very respectable. It's also not even near the lowest. And here, 46 physical attack, it's good. Not the highest, but it's good. It's solid. Uh, for Materia, it's got a sigil boost. There's not a whole lot more you could really want from this. And when you combine this with Boomerang, she pretty much has everything you need for fire. Uh, and I, one more time, just cannot uh, express enough how big of a deal I think all enemies, 700% to all enemies. I think is pretty huge. Yeah, it's not the 850% the Sky Splitter is, but it's also got this. And so I think it's going to hit really close to as hard as like Sky Splitter does if all the other stats were the same, uh, but it's going to hit all enemies. And real quickly, I will show you for anybody who's not quite familiar, this is Boomerang and it doesn't do fire damage, but it does give a fire breach and it also has fire potency. Also has physical attack. So you know, these two weapons are going to get you almost max on that physical attack and your fire potency is going to be pretty high as well. And if you get this to OB6, that's when it starts just being a high breach right out the box. So I think that this is a solid banner for Yuffie. Now let's come to what I was more excited about before I saw the banner. So Lucia, her costume, um, is like it's really 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 well done i don't have a single complaint about this i it's just really well done i think it looks very summery but also very like cool you know uh very modern whatever you want to call it so i'm i'm, I'm all for it it's called beach agent and this um uh you know this depends right on on what you do with lucia or how you like to play her so it's got the buff debuff extension plus, which I think as a costume R ability is in and of itself great. It's, it, it is independent of a regular buff debuff R ability. So it's not like it's adding points to the other one. The reason that's nice obviously is because you can 
basically get it higher than it would be, but also it's just a flat 60%. And 60% is quite a lot, again, just on the outfit. So you don't necessarily have to waste sub slots, you know, depending how much buff you need. So I think this one's really strong. It's also got the sun's favor. I think that's quite strong. <laughs> and for what this is trying to do, you know, I mean, it's it's a great support piece of gear. And, and that's where I kind of come back to what are you trying to do with Lucia? And, you know, she's got, I think, um, physical defense down, magic attack down, magic defense down, magic defense up for a single party member, and an ice breach. I think that is about all of the different uh, buffs or debuffs. She's also got a silence, but most bosses are immune to that, so I don't count it, and it only lasts five seconds. Um, so that's what we've got. And, you know, this just really depends how you want to build her, because right now we're getting more and more support weapons, both buff and debuff, that are very, very strong. And she only has access to one of those, and it's on this banner. We're going to go over it in just a second. So... This buff debuff extension, although it's super strong, I don't know if you're going to find it the strongest on her just yet, but it depends. If you have Bald Eagle leveled up and maybe at least one or two of her other weapons that, you know, you use her for debuffing, then this is amazing. Uh, going over to Marine Shooter, this is the weapon. And I think, again, it's quite good. <laughs> um, but at OB10... These R abilities are kind of incredible. Like, boost physical ability potency plus 46 is very strong. Uh, looking at this, if you put this in main hand, you're at one away from maxing out the boost physical ability potency. That That's huge. And then also 39 points fire. Uh, it's quite good. Coming over here, it's also got fire attack boost and a sigil boost. So... So far, we've already decided this weapon would make one hell of a weapon, and we haven't even looked at the actual C ability does. So, what does it do? 560% physical non-elemental damage to all enemies. That, let's be honest, you're, you're never really going to care about that. Uh, not on this weapon. But also, physical attack is decreased all enemies. Um, no matter how, how you get it, though, it's only mid out of the box, and you have to do it again to get it to high. 30 seconds is, is pretty respectable. I mean, let's let's be honest, you're probably never taking this really past OB6. Um, and that's still 26 seconds. It's not bad. Um, and then, as long as your HP is above 50%, fire resist decrease. So it's got a fire breach to all enemies. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, physical attack decrease, obviously debuffs in that respect, you know. I think are stronger than buffs. We've gone over that in previous videos. So I do think this, I mean, sometimes it's not going to work though. That's the trade-off, right? Sometimes they're immune. But generally speaking, yeah, this is this is a good, this is a good weapon. And if you run Lucia as a support unit or, you know, whatever like to be able to, then I think that this is very, very solid. I can tell you um, out of just, you know, candor, if I was going to pull, I would pull probably for this costume. Um, but... I'm not going to be pulling. And the reason I'm not going to pull is I don't use either one of these two units, like, literally almost ever. I do have Boomerang, by the way, um, at OB6. I never wishlisted it. It's just kind of how it fell. Um, I don't, it's, I'm not saying that they don't have value, but there's going to be a part two, I'm almost sure. And I think, you know, the word on the street is that Tifa is going to be getting another summer outfit. If she does, I want to be able to pull for that. Um, also, Vincent's coming. So this is not good enough for my personal account to pull. If I ran Yuffie as a main, I think this is just about a must pull. Uh, if I ran Lucia a lot, I don't know if it's going to make or break anything, but it's pretty good. And I think that's, I'll leave it at that. I would love to hear your thoughts, though, uh, what you're going to do, if you're going to pull on either of one of these and why, or if you're going to save. Um, if you're saving, like usual, I want to know what for. Uh, other than that, join the Discord, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.